Hold my breath It's like the feeling of my heartbeat out of my chest Take a step To my love, Jim, I love you so very much. We have already spent so much time together, loving each other, fighting for each other, loving our family, working together, and loving our very special pup together. I searched the whole world, every corner, every part. The light, the dark, and all stars is true. I searched the whole wide world for you. My love, I'm overwhelmingly lucky to have you to be able to stand by you today and become your husband. Thank you for loving me. I love that you started as a friend and grew to respect and love each other even more. I have dreamed about today for many years. There will never be enough words to tell you just how special you are. Today I officially vow to love you forever and I get to have not only your last name, but my pups too. I search the whole world. To watch you grow into the amazing woman that you have become, accepting every challenge and all the craziness that came with it and with me. When I see you smile and your eyes light up, I love you more and more each time. We are gathered here today in the sight of God and the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We're here to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to add our best wishes and blessings to the bride and groom as they are united today in holy matrimony. I can see the light in you. I can see the light. Weddings are usually exclusively seen as a celebration of love and commitment. And while that is true, we tend to forget that weddings are also a recognition of the importance of family. And as Catherine and Jim embark on this journey of marriage, may they continuously strive to embody these qualities in their relationship, marrying the sacrificial love, mirroring the sacrificial love of Christ. It's okay to feel your feelings. You don't have to hurry through. And it's okay. As Catherine and Jim nurture their relationship with God and with each other, they will find strength, wisdom, and grace to overcome any challenges that come their way. I can see the light. So Jim, do you take Catherine to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Catherine, take Jim to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I do. I'll bring you out of the high Into more love than you've ever known These rings are a symbol of your marriage vows that ties the ties that bind you together as husband and wife. They represent the eternal love of God that lives in you and the love that you share. By the authority vested in me, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce Jim and Catherine, husband and wife. What God has therefore joined together, let not man put us under. Jim, you may kiss your bride. Every time I see her, I said, no wonder her name is Catherine, because you're a saint, because you got to deal with him. So, toast to these two. 
happily ever after. And uh, thank you again for everybody showing up. To everybody, I, I hope you'll embrace our family. So to Jim and Catherine. It's really those little moments that I appreciate the most when I think about dad. You know, building Legos on grandma's kitchen table, watching the old VHS, Return of the Jedi. Shap, along with Meme and Mr. Dill, have taught us many life lessons. I think the most important one is family is not divided by blood. Family are the people who show up to you on the best days and in the worst of days. They are they never give up on you. And I know if Dad and, and I know if you know Dad and Shop, they would do anything to give us the best life, even if that meant overthrowing a small country. For Shap, all the uh, hoops that you've gone through to get me to this point, uh, supporting me and always uh, advocating for me no matter what has meant the most and it's uh, really helped me grow into who I am today. For those who didn't know, Shab not only cared for us during my mom's journey with cancer, but she also cared for my mom. Shep showed up time and time again, no matter what, with an open heart and deep rooted love. I think my siblings, my mom, and I would agree that there's no one better for our dad. <laughs>